Okay, so then in this video, I'm just going to briefly go over what hypnosis is. So, this is the certificate of completion for the hypnosis course that I took online, Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. And then I'm going to go over a general intro here. So, please watch my video entitled Hypnosis Abuse and Speech Inhibition. I will leave a link in the description and I will also leave additional links in the description of other relevant videos. So, what is hypnosis? There are different theories of hypnosis and I will briefly reference two of them in this video because learning the science of hypnosis and how hypnosis works can provide a, an, a basic understanding of hypnosis regardless of the theory. The first theory is that hypnosis is the same thing as trance. Depending on how you define hypnosis, you could use the terms hypnosis and trance interchangeably. Although I personally differentiate as not all trances will increase an individual's susceptibility to accepting post-hypnotic suggestions or hypnotic commands like hypnosis is intended to. Uh, either way, it doesn't exactly matter. Um, Human Givens theory states that hypnosis is any artificial means of accessing the REM state which is naturally active while dreaming. This theory of hypnosis would provide a legal, logical explanation for all the phenomena that is associated with hypnosis. Okay. Hypnosis definitions, somnambulism. Somnambulism is the medical terminology for sleepwalking, and in hypnosis is a deep stage of trance that mimics a very similar appearance to sleepwalking, which is why this stage of trance was named somnambulism. This is the stage of trance known to produce the most profound hypnotic effects, and is when post-hypnotic suggestions are primarily given. Two, post-hypnotic suggestions. post Post-hypnotic suggestions are the instructions and or commands given to subjects while in somnambulism that are carried out upon waking from trance or after specified hypnotic cues or after a specified date and or time. Critical faculty. So just introduction for it. The critical factor or critical faculty is not a part of the brain or a tangible object. It is just a concept, of the, although a very real concept. Just like time, the conscious mind, or the unconscious mind. So, in hypnosis, there is an important concept known as the critical factor or critical faculty. It means the exact same thing and is most commonly known as the critical factor, although in my hypnosis course it is referred to as the critical faculty, and that is what I'm going to be referring to it as in this video. The critical faculty is responsible for processing, interpreting, analyzing, and questioning information before acceptance into the unconscious mind. The critical faculty is commonly described as a filter firewall, or barrier in between the conscious and unconscious mind that is responsible for processing, questioning, interpreting, and analyzing whether or not the information should be accepted or rejected as true or false in order to develop an accurate understanding of reality. An oversimplified understanding of what the critical faculty is, is the conscious awareness and short-term memory. Although they are not the same thing, or the, although they're not the same things. Short-term memory is a form of memory. The critical faculty is, a, is information processing. And the conscious mind is responsible for much more than just processing information and short-term memory. So, the critical faculty is capable of processing a lot of information very quickly, although it is limited in its information processing capabilities. The critical faculty is limited to processing 7 plus or minus 2 bits of information at a time. Very similar to short-term memory in regards to remembering phone numbers, children under the age of 7 have underdeveloped critical faculties, that readily accept information without questioning, processing, analyzing, or interpreting the information. An example of this would be how children will believe in the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, and the Tooth Fairy. In the deep, deep hypnotic trance known as somnambulism, the critical faculty is less capable of processing information than that of a child's. Hypnosis will bypass the critical faculty in a variety of ways so that the suggestions will be accepted by the unconscious mind without being questioned or analyzed. Common methods for this include confusion, distraction, overwhelming, processing capability, and shock. In Ericksonian hypnosis and subliminal messaging, the critical faculty is often bypassed by distracting and consuming conscious attention to an overwhelming extent that no conscious attention is drawn to the subliminal messages that are involuntarily accepted by the unconscious mind because the ability to process and or question the information is bypassed. The second method is seen in direct hypnosis and state, stage hypnosis and uses shock to stimulate that reorientation response which is a survival mechanism used to rapidly adjust to a situation in an emergency and stimulates a fast acting pathway in the brain called a PGO spike. 
during the reorientation response, processing, processing capabilities are limited, which can result in an automatic or immediate acceptance of sensory stimuli. A PGO spike is often used in instant or rapid hypnotic induction to induce a deep hypnotic trance known as somnambulism in less than five minutes or less than, a, less than one minute. And even though I got that done very quickly, I want to point out here, um, because... You know, I just barely read that, right? Um, and I'm going to actually show it here in this video, too. So, in less five minutes, right there, and then, um, or less than one minute. So, this is going to be an example specifically, just because uh, this is yet another example of how the hypnosis, if you watch that video that I, that I specified, the hypnosis, abuse, and speech inhibition, which I'm going to leave a, Link in the description too when I upload this, regardless. Um, it'll describe exactly what happened there. Uh, well, I mean, that, that one is mostly on the uh, speech aspect, although uh, the handwriting is more over what, what that entails to. Um, I'll go ahead and specify though that, well, excluding or omitting. Oh, I actually have that written down on this one. There we go. Repressing and omitting specific grammatical terms and expressions necessary for complete sentence structure while writing sentences. And hypnosis would also cause me to write a completely different word than I consciously intended to by distracting my critical faculty. And conscious awareness, right? All right, and also there's another aspect here. So the reorientation response, during the reorientation response, processing capabilities are limited, which can result in automatic or immediate acceptance of sensory stimuli or suggestion. This, um, All right, so first of all, I'm going to have to rewrite this page. This is extremely abusive because, um, you know, I'm pointing it out. I'm using this as evidence anyways. I was going to, but regardless of such, let's see. So critical faculty, page two. Um, oh, that's right. So, yeah, yeah, I did specify that. Um <clears throat> What would end up happening is like I would be distracted. I, I would get distracted. The hypnosis would cue some form of distraction. Like, a, you know, just a distraction thought, variety of different things. Regardless of such, it would happen. And then when it happened, um, sorry about that. The hypnosis is inhibiting me. I need to start writing faster. Okay, this is unusually stressful for me, strenuous. That doesn't exactly make sense, right? Considering the situation. So let's go ahead and do this again. Critical faculty, page two. I mean, unless, of course, you know, the phenomenon of hypnosis is 
coming into play here. So methods for this include confusion, distraction, overwhelming processing capabilities, Capabilities. Oh, sorry about that. Or capability. And then give me just a second here in the end. Oh, there it is. So I was sanitized to leave a comma after the T. Um, that was interesting. Specifically because I wrote capabilities instead, so then I was sanitized to forget, forget to add the Y. Let me see. Ah, it's right here. There we go, there we go. So let's see here, because I want to make sure I describe this well enough, because, yeah, a sensory stimuli and what? Um, you know, I'm, I'm just pounding my hand on the desk because it's a post-hypnotic suggestion, by the way. So, um, let's see, there it is, a sensory stimuli, ah, there we go. And even the suggestion to sleep. Inducing the subject into somnambulism. Okay, then. Okay, so I left some reminders here just to make sure that it's on the page and I'm able to see it. There we go. Um, anyway, so 
Uh, there we go. During the reorientation, response processing capabilities are limited, which can result. Oh, um, processing capabilities are limited, and the critical faculty can be completely bypassed. There we go, because that's really important information to know that people are going to want to know, especially because it just clarifies like, oh, so that's how it works, so it is real. And I mean, it is something that like a lot of people will um, like uh, actually want to watch because they enjoy, uh, they, you know, like that's the information that I had to like look very thoroughly for to ever be able to find. And I um, am not only just providing it for free, it's just on YouTube, all at once, quick video. Ericksonian hypnosis and salonal messaging. The, cri the critical Sorry, hypnosis faculty. Hypnosis is slowing my ability to write. Is often, and I'm also hypnotized to feel back pain because of hypnosis, bypassed. By distracting, by distracting. And, con Consuming conscious attention to an overwhelming. Oh, my 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 arm is cramping with that I can't even say it extent uh, so my arm was cramping to slow me down with that hypnosis because uh, this cramping would have been too obvious let me see sorry about that sorry about that there we go that no conscious attention There we go, is drawn to the post hypnotic suggestions or subliminal messages. Post hypnotic suggestions or subliminal. That was slow. Let's see. Messages. And 
that are involuntarily accepted by the unconscious mind this is extraordinarily slow because the ability to process and or question the information is bypassed. Okay, let's see. So the second, the second method is seen in direct hypnosis. and stage hypnosis which uses shock to stimulate the reorientation response which is a survival mechanism used to rapidly adjust to a situation how in an emergency and stimulates a fast acting pathway in the brain
in the string. called a PGO spike. Now, during the Reorientation response. Sorry about that. Processing capabilities. Mm -hmm. 